Howdy y'all, Country Boy 1970 here. And today I'm gonna be showing you my military collection. Now I'm gonna have to be very careful not to incidentally record his social security number. But the stuff I'm gonna be showing you first is my great uncle Roger Pierce's stuff. He served in Vietnam. And this book is from Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. It's an old book you get after leaving boot camp, which he did in 1970. Now here's some of the pages. <clears throat> and now I'm going to show you his picture. Right there. Roger Leon Pierce. And there's his brother. Larry Pierce. Of course, that might not be actually his brother, but I think it is. He got the same last name. But that's his old book he got after boot camp. And here we're gonna have to be extra careful with these. But this is certificate of appreciation from the Department of the Army. From 71, 22nd of December of 1971. <clears throat> and then here, let me check it out real, for, real quick. Yeah, this one's fine. This one doesn't have a social security on it. But it's a certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States in 71, who was Richard Nixon. He got this after his service in Vietnam. And here's an old folder full of his records from Vietnam. Official Department of Defense Records, USA. He got these after Vietnam too. And then here is his, his old platoon photo. There's his favorite drill instructor. I don't think you can see that very well. But it's Robert Conway. He, one thing he said about him was that he had a big pot belly, but he could outrun every man in this whole platoon, in the whole boot camp. And... There's my Uncle Roger right there. I know that's not high quality, but it's the best I can do for now. <clears throat> now these ones is gonna be hard to do one-handed, but we'll try to set them up for you. That way y'all can look at them here. Oh, there's one. This is one of his old army jackets. He bought after Vietnam. Got his little infantry patch. Another patch. 23rd Infantry Division patch. The Americal Division. And then the other two in here are the exact same thing just with less holes and they don't have that. One of them's got the sleeves torn off. And then of course got his old garrison cap. But now, now for my favorite thing that he gave me. Well actually it's two things. Well three if you count the undershirt. <clears throat> but it's this right cheer. Now his dress uniform from Vietnam. Most soldiers wound up taking off a ton of stuff off their jackets. He left it as, as it was. Got his infantry cord, name badge, presidential unit citation, his ribbons, his uh, marksmanship badge, his little infantry badge, lapel pins, all that whole nine yards and of course Americal he was a specialist and now his old dress cap did you find something anyways he said in boot camp somebody got a hat too big and he got a hat too small 
So they swapped hats, so his name is not inside of this. But it was originally meant for him anyways. But now we're going to move on, because I believe that's all the militaria he has given me so far. So, of course, I'll make an update to this video later on when he brings more. He said he was going to bring his old Boney Bush hat later on, which he wrote on top of it, Killing Squad. If you don't know what that hat is, just look at it. And then right here, this uniform, it's another dress uniform, Spec 5, this rank no longer exists in the U.S. Army. Here, hold up. I do apologize for making y'all sit like that and watch like that, but I gotta get the protective coverings off of them. And these pins up here, none qualm fractum. I can't remember what my grandpa said these were these were for, but it's a nice army jacket nonetheless. It was his old dress uniform. And then over here is just something I kind of threw together. It was something my great aunt Judy bought for me from a military surplus store. So it's not family or nothing, but it's it's kind of neat, I think. I always liked the military, so it's pretty nice for me. And right here are the oldest, probably some of the oldest military stuff I've got. Now, do hold on. Bear with me just another moment while I take off these protective covers. So, just protecting them from moths. first one we got here is my uncle's great uncle's dress uniform he was a first sergeant that says I believe that was fourth army that was a fourth army emblem right there but uh, yeah it's pretty nice And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, for each one of these stripes is three years of service. This uniform was from World War II, I believe. And how do I know this? Because of the uniform below it, which both belong to the same man. But the one below it has a ribbon on it. And a very particular ribbon at that. This is his summer dress uniform. First sergeant, and here's his ribbon bar. I believe that's a, a UN or National Defense Ribbon, something like that, I can't remember. And one of these, that one right there, was a World War II victory. And in one of the re other ones here, I can't remember which one, I think it might have been, no, that was Good Conduct, I think. One of these is the Korean War Victory Medal. Ribbon. He got after his two wars, which he served in, which were World War II and Korea. And then, of course, this thing that I nearly tripped over right here is a Vietnam-era Army stretcher. And then up here, uh, can't see that very well. But this is my Grandpa Smith's old dress cap from Vietnam. That dress cap there went to these World War II uniforms, so it's very old. And uh, this is just a modern Kevlar Army helmet. This is a Vietnam era steel pot M1 helmet. And that's a modern uh, Kevlar tanker's helmet. If, I guess that's the right word, I don't know. But you know that's what they wore in tanks. And here's another one of them. Another one of them garrison caps. And let's see here. Aha. Here's. Let's get her up. She's in not that great a shape. 
but it's a Vietnam era US Marine Corps jacket. It's pretty cool. I think. And let's see here. Aha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. This is my Grandpa Manuel's old book he got after boot camp, which he got out of boot camp in 1960. Fort Knox, Kentucky. United States Army. Silverfish didn't get to this book, so it's pretty much brand new. There ain't a whole lot of pictures in this book. There's my Grandpa Manuel when he was young. They're all using the M1 Grand in this book. And then, what else do I have here? This vintage Marine Corps gas can, U.S. military gas can, says on top of it, USMC, United States Marine Corps, 1974, right up here. And then, well, got this vintage Army flashlight, 40 millimeter anti-aircraft shell from Vietnam, and, well, then there's this stuff, just random assorted military down here, an old, uh, what I assume is an ammo pouch, it's what it looked like. And a pair of M1951 Arctic trousers. So if you were in a very cold place like Russia, somewhere like that, they'd give you these trousers. Wear underneath your pants. And then there's some other random junk down there. That's not really anything neat or interesting, but... I do believe, oh, yep, yeah. then I got a, a ton of old military canteens, this one's a steel one, it says US on it, from World War II, and then under my bed I got more, but not all of them are military ones, they're just nifty canteens, but anyhow, thank you for watching, and y'all have a good day.